Servos are really fun to play with. In this video, I'll show you how to control one with Embryo. I've got a typical hobby servo. It has three wires, voltage, ground, and signal. Using jumper wires, I plug the voltage and ground wires into the appropriate channels on the breadboard and connect the signal wire to one of the PWM pins, in my case, digital pin three. To control the servo, I have a potentiometer. The side pins are plugged into the voltage and ground channels, and the middle pin is plugged into analog input pin A2. I'll start with the new empty project in Embryo. Embryo doesn't have a built-in node to control servos. What it does have is a type of node that lets you enter Arduino code, and there is a servo library for the Arduino that we can use. This video also acts as an introduction to the custom Arduino node. Using the right-click menu, I add a custom Arduino node from the input-output menu. If you've done any programming in Arduino so far, you will recognize these code blocks. On this node is a place for includes, declarations, and setup code. To find out what code I need to add here, I go to the Arduino website and search for the servo library documentation. I go to the examples section in the learning menu, then scroll down until I find the servo library. You can use any Arduino library code in the same way described in this example. Arduino is very good about posting simple example code, which can easily be copied and pasted into Embryo. First, I copy the include line and paste it into the include section on my node. Next, I copy the line that declares a servo variable and paste it into the declaration box on the node. Note that variables declared on custom Arduino nodes are global to the Embryo project, so make sure the names are unique. For example, if you control multiple servos by copying and pasting this node, make sure to change the variable names. The Arduino example code has another variable called POS, but we won't need that. Next, copy the code from the setup function into the setup block on the node and change the pin setting from 9 to 3, or whatever PWM pin you have your servo plugged into. Now the servo object is set up, the last step is to add some update code. In the Arduino loop is the line myservo.write, which passes a value between 0 and 179 to control the servo. On the Embryo node, we need an input activation value to control the servo. To add an input or output to a custom Arduino node, you can either right-click on the node and select what to add, or use the little buttons on top of the node. Now I click on the New Code Block button to add some update code. There are a few options for when this code will be called, but I'll leave it at the default of every update. I copy and paste the myservo.write function into the update code block, but I don't have a variable called POS. I want to use the activation input to this node for that value. To reference an input or output in the Arduino code, you write the word input or output with a starting capital letter, then an underscore, then the name of the input or output without any spaces. So in this case, I would write input underscore activation. This isn't quite right though. The input activation value is in the range 0 to 1, but the servo write function expects a number between 0 and 179. To deal with this, I use a built-in embryo function called transform with a lowercase t. So I type transform, open parenthesis, input underscore activation, comma, 0, 0.0, comma, 1.0, which is the range of the input activation, then another comma, 0, comma, 179, close parenthesis. This transforms the activation value from the range of 0 to 1 to 0 to 179. My custom node is done, so I click on the connection icon to connect to the Arduino. If I did everything correctly, I can now control my servo by dragging on the activation input. To finish the project, I add a controller input node, then select analog pin 2, connect its activation to the custom node, and refresh the connection program. Now I can control my servo by turning the potentiometer.